Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. I could not be more excited because today we're looking at an aspect of Skeletron's RoboSkull Mark II release that I have been uh, really almost as excited about as I am about receiving the RoboSkull itself. And that is the Wolf Trooper slash Skeletron. From Grindstone Toys. This is a collaboration with Grindstone Toys, uh, who are also, you may know from Call Sign Longbow. Check out Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast, for our interview with the Call Sign Longbow guys. Uh, you guys, look at this. This is gorgeous modern O ring art, and I can't wait to open it up, but I hate to take it off of this beautiful card back. Super solid. Listen, listen. You hear that? You see any bangs or dents or anything in this? This is gorgeous. I'm going to have to order... Look, I'm going to have to order two more of these because I want one to put in a protector and keep mint on card uh, and have all of the Robo Skull guys and all of the Call Sign Longbow guys sign it. Uh, and then I need another one to open to keep as a Wolf Trooper and another one to open to be a Skeletron. This is nuts. I need two more of these at least. Uh... So this is, I mean, this is beautiful. Look at it. Look, take it in. Drink in this retro style packaging. The sturdiness of the card back transforms into leader Skeletron. So maybe I need like five of these. So I have four wolf troopers and a Skeletron to lead them. I don't know. Uh, fully posable retro action figure. New swivel wrist battle grip. We'll check that out once we open it up. And then on the back... You've got incredible Robo Skull artwork at the top. You've got file cards for the Wolf Trooper and for Skeletron, which I'm not going to sit here and read them. Uh, and interestingly, the Go Ring system, which is not O Ring, it is Go Ring. Collect Red Shadows vehicles and figures. And boy, let me tell you, I am. All right, we got to open it. Look at this. It's so. It's such a beautiful tribute to the greatest toy line of all time, right? Oh, all right, let's open it up. I hate to do it. It pains me to do this. I know I'm going to be able to get more, but this is such a perfect presentation. Look at this art. Look at the art on this thing. Oh, I want to kiss it. Uh, let's, let's open it up. Oh, that hurt me. That caused me physical pain. To open that up, look, it's got a battle stand. It's got all kinds of goodies in there. It's got the classic backdrop for the blister of the solid color. Uh, this is, I hate looking at this all mangled up now. I'm going to have to go order another one like the second I'm done here. All right, let's dump everything right out of that blister. Red Shadows Aerial Assault. Oh, look at these. Oh, I totally missed that. Just like the old Joe stuff, it has... The description of the accessories. I totally missed that. Includes helmet, rifle, claw, ray gun, jetpack, skeletron head, and laser sword. I'm sorry I was reading it, so I pointed it away from you guys. But you can see, uh, just like the old uh, Real American Hero figures. This is incredible. What a, what a blast from uh, the past and the future, perhaps. All right, let's get these accessories scooted out of the way. And take a look at another... Beautiful example of a modern O-ring. We are blessed lately with O-ring magic from lots of different places. So you can see we've got the rivets through the shoulders. The shoulders have full movement up and down and rotation. We've got the bicep swivel or the swivel arm battle grip, as it were, but also swivel wrist battle grip look at the portrait on this guy i guess we should go ahead and zoom in since everything's gonna be so tiny look at the eyebrows look at the eyes look at the detail on that mask and then that little tampo of the red shadows skull and crossbones sculpted detail is just beautiful classic o-ring construction what's in here though oh look at that eh? 
these colors look so good. Now, I will say this. This is not shiny like a classic Real American Hero figure. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to be, as much as I love the O-ring aesthetic, I am not going to be posing most of these modern O-rings with my classic Real American Hero figures. Um, man, look at the detail. The padding. It's got knives sculpted on the thighs there. Just the paint. Everything is so precise and accurate. I love the white of the boots underneath the shin guards here or whatever this design is. And look at this. This is like ridged. This is sculpted. Amazing. This is absolutely a work of art. As far as the weight of it, it feels good. It has a nice heft. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, all the plastic feels really nice. Um, we can get into a nice seated position here. Oh, look at that. Look, the gloves match the boot style with the sculpted um, ridges over here. I hope I'm giving you everybody a close enough look at everything. I'm trying to cover this as thoroughly as I can because it is a work of art. Look at these D-rings sculpted on the shoulder piece. There's these three little red, whatever they are, sensors, I don't know. This is a work of art. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I will tell you right now, I didn't order any of the modern style figures, uh, four inch figures, because that to me right now, that's just not a format that I'm interested in. Uh, six inch military. Yes. O-rings a hundred percent. Absolutely. Uh, well, six inch military sci-fi, I guess. Um, O-rings absolutely. But the, the modern era sculpt, whatever you want to call the 25th anniversary GI Joe style, I'm just not super interested in that right now. So let's Take a look first at the battle stand, a nice translucent battle stand. Uh, it is Grindstone Toys branded. And we will put the figure right there on it. Perfect fit. Stands centered on it. Put that over to the side. And we've got a flight helmet. Beautiful sculpt. Excellently executed painted detail. Look how sharp everything is. The eyes, this red underneath the breather here, or vent or whatever it is. And then let's see how well it fits. Uh, how well it, oh my gosh, look at this. It is all sculpted to go together. So look, watch. That notches right into... It fits right with the collar, and then that notches into the chest plate. Oh my gosh. That is wonderful. Uh, we've got a jet pack. All black, very sleek. And again, just tons of sculpted detail. Somebody had a lot of fun working on these. Uh, that will peg right into the back, hopefully. Now, here's one issue that I see potentially is there are two... There we go. Plugs right into the back. Well... Okay, there we go. Now it's in the back. Uh, these two pegs sticking out. Be, just be careful of those. You don't want to jam those into your thumb or anything. Uh, so just push like that. Get it lined up. Looks great. There is a blade weapon thing that, unless I'm mistaken, oh my gosh, you guys, storage. You guys know how I feel about storage. And I think we've got, all right, we got to do this one first. So here is the laser sword. Beautiful translucent blue plastic. I mean, look at the sculpted detail on that hilt. 
That's crazy. Oh, that's a, look at the skull. Look at that skull. Oh my gosh. So there's one facing that way and then one facing that way. And unless I miss my guess, which I might, it looks like this should... Oh, maybe it doesn't. Something slides in there. I don't know that it's the sword, though. I don't want to break anything, obviously. I've done that before in my reviews, and it's not fun. Something slides in there. Okay, it's not that, and it's not the pistol. It's got to be the sword. And the shape of the sword kind of looks like it matches. Is it just a... Oh, it is. Oh, wow. Look at that. So that slides right in there. Look how nice that looks. And I put it in the right way the first time. Thank goodness for that. Well, it doesn't matter. Now it should slide in and out. No problem. Uh, so here is the blade. Again, lots of sculpted detail. And guess what? This... I think is going to pop right in there. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Weapon storage rules. Uh, you've got a large blaster that looks fantastic. No flash or anything on this. I'm, I'm really impressed with how clean uh, this sculpt is. So great, unique looking blaster that can go in one hand. And then a much smaller hand blaster. That is so small. I hope you can see the detail there. That can go in the other hand. So minus the Skeletron head. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Oh, man. Now I got to figure out how the heads work. So here is our Skeletron head. So the neck... Oh, wait, it rotates. Nice. So the head actually rotates on top of that neck piece. But what I've got to figure out... Well, first look at the detail on this thing. This is one sinister, evil-looking Skeletron. Look at the eyes, the yellow dots. Beautiful. So I guess... Do you have to actually take, unscrew the figure, old school G.I. Joe style? I'm trying to see the, yeah, I think you have to literally unscrew the figure to replace the head, which I don't have a problem with at all. Yeah, there's a screw in there. So let's, that means this guy is meant to be taken apart. And what a fun design decision that is. So look at this. If you've ever taken apart an old Joe, you know exactly what's going on here. Um, you know, it can be a little tricky. So we've got to keep our, I guess our go ring. It's not an O ring. It's a go ring in place. What a, uh, an unexpectedly, not arduous, because I mean, I've done this hundreds of times in my life, but I just didn't expect to be taking a figure apart in this review. And you can see my clumsy uh, technique. Tell me in the comments, is there a better way to reassemble an O-ring figure? than what I just did. Oh, see, look at that. The arm popped out of place. I've, I've really betrayed my lack of skill here. I might, I might actually stop filming because this is kind of embarrassing. 
All right. Those of you who are more experienced, uh, better Joe customizers or disassemblers or whatever than me are probably screaming at your whatever it is you use to watch videos right now. But I'm not going to lie, this is not the easiest reassembly I've ever done. There we go. My gosh, that was that was intense. We get our little black screw. This is a black screw. Uh, so it is recognizable amidst your Real American Hero screws. Always give it a little tap to get the screw kind of started to be seated. I'm not going to tighten it too much, but look at this menacing little dude with and swivel. This is incredible. I need, like I said, I need at least two more, um, but maybe more than that. Uh, I cannot wait to get the Robo Skull. I cannot wait to get more figures from this company. This is a product of amazing quality. I am so hyped right now. The the future of retro toys, I guess, for lack of a better term, is in my hand, and it is awesome. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things, and until next time, I don't, I don't know what he says. You will obey the Skeletron. Buy more toys. Smash that like button if you like needless things.